Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new three-part series on McCall's search model. In this video, we're going to go through the entirety of the baseline McCall model. Let's go. So what is McCall's search model? So this is a first cut for discussing equilibrium unemployment in the economy. This model is useful for explaining three things. That is the natural rate of unemployment, how individuals with identical features can have differing unemployment spells, and what unemployment looks like from the perspective of an unemployed worker. The entire model consists of only two equations, where the key result, this being our reservation wage, which is also our equilibrium concept, is derived. So this is the story of our model. Time is discrete. This means our agent moves in terms of period, like period one, period two, period three. Uh, we start out with a unemployed worker who draws a wage off for omega from a IID distribution, f of omega, at the start of each period. This unemployed worker can either accept or reject the offer. If the offer is rejected, our individual remains unemployed for the whole period. If the offer is accepted, he obtains a wage and keeps that job forever. Oftentimes, uh, people go and write these sort of search stories in the diagram below. So we see in this beginning at the start of T0, we have a wage is drawn from a distribution and the choice to accept or reject. The employed or unemployed value is realized and at the start of T is equal to one, a wage is drawn again from our distribution if the person's unemployed. However, if our individual did accept the offer at the start of the previous P, period he goes and he keeps that wage forever till t's equal infinity now as previously mentioned uh, the model consists of two equations these being a employed bellman and unemployed bellman so the employed bellman is as follows this is w omega this means that our individual goes and takes a wage plus the discounted value in the future and then there's an unemployed bellman, which is U, is equal to the unemployment benefit B plus this beta here, which is our discount factor on this integral, right, from zero to infinity, which is the maximum of whether there is a higher value from being employed or a higher value of being unemployed times this uh, CDF uh, integral. So this is just uh, a probabilistic sort of interpretation here, meaning that these values are on a distribution. We note that we can rewrite our employed Bellman as follows, right? This is just a matter of taking uh, beta W omega to the other side and then just dividing it by one O minus beta. So note that equilibrium in this model is characterized as follows right where omega r is our reservation wage this condition indicates that there exists a wage where a worker is indifferent between accepting an offer or remaining unemployed to answer the questions of what this reservation is and how it's characterized we know our equilibrium condition and our unemployed bellman equation which is our second equation of the model and we just put our equilibrium condition on the left-hand side and our unemployed bellman on the right-hand side. We can separate the above integral there into two parts. That is the integral from zero to our reservation wage and the integral from our reservation wage to infinity. We note that workers won't accept a wage below WR. So we simplify our condition here at the bottom as follows where we have our equilibrium condition, which is omega r all over one minus beta, is equal to our unemployment benefit plus beta times this integral of wages, right, from our reservation wage to infinity. Further algebra in subtracting beta omega r, right, this discounted uh, direct weight re reservation range from both sides, we go and we get the following result. With further algebra, uh, we can go and get a little bit more of a probabilistic interpretation. That is omega r is equal to our unemployed benefit, b plus beta all over one minus beta times this distribution of all wages above omega r. So this one minus f 
omega, this is the, these are the wages that lie above that. So this is the entirety of the baseline McCall model in discrete time. In the next video, we're going to talk about this model, but augment it in the sense that we're going to go and see what it looks like in continuous time. I'll see you then. Take care.